Hey guys, welcome to uh, the season opener of uh, 2022's Pike and Walleye Hunters. I'm um, just heading out to a lake um, close by me. It's uh, Dale Mead Lake. It's uh, it's pretty close to where I live, and uh, it's the only one I could find that probably doesn't have rain in the forecast. Well, it says till about three or four o'clock, but everywhere else seems to be. They're calling for rain, and I got a new barbecue. Um, it's the Coleman um excursion grill um yeah it's a pretty cool grill it retails at 450 i got it on sale for like 279 at canadian tire so if you guys are looking for a good barbecue head out to canadian tire this weekend they still might have some on sale it's uh saw a youtube video on it it's pretty cool it um burns at 20,000 btus and um there was a similar one to it it was called the uh, the coleman party grill or something like that and it was only 10,000. BTUs, but this one will actually. Hey guys, uh, it's been about an hour. I got one really good strike right over here, and then got off. Uh, so, at least the weeds aren't too bad, but yeah, it's getting really, really. Nasty looking over here, so looks like it's really gonna come down in a minute. So I'm gonna get out of here before I get drenched on. see that's fishing see where he bit my spoon some teeth marks there nice. so it's been about uh, 10 minutes or a little bit less than that it's uh, cooking up the burgers pretty good there um, cheese is melted I'm just gonna have my buddy it's really windy here I probably should have they probably would have cooked a lot faster on the cast iron there but i got i got that flat top grill from i think from walmart there i kind of figured with the grease because i didn't have water to put in the trap that goes in the bottom so that's probably why these burgers didn't cook as fast as i thought they were gonna cook so we'll just uh grab our buns here and, uh, kind of do one at a time Guy here, and then uh, just, uh, this bun to go on the ground. So actually, do this. Just grab the bottom, the bottom one there, and then I can put my put my stuff on on top. off stuff kind of go to the side there and let that cool down because I don't want anything I'm gonna regret so we should nowhere okay uh, now we grab our we'll get the bun tops here and uh, uh, get some Ketchup. Just get a little, little roundabout there. A little bit of mustard. Canadian product. I try to support uh, Canadian products as much as I can. A little bit of that on there. Uh, get this back and we'll get our buns on top. Set that light like that. And I didn't bring plates, so 
and I have to do paper towels instead. So, so we're gonna wolf these bad boys down as fast as fast as the mother nature lets us here. But yeah, it's uh, it's a cool, very cool little grill. Did what I needed it to do, and I'm just gonna ah, chow down on. It. Hey guys, uh, so I'm gonna take my uh, first test bite here. This uh, burger off the excursion excursion grill mm. as you can see meats cooked pretty well I was kind of worried with the wind and everything going on out there that it wasn't gonna cook these things as good like I can if you guys could hear the wind out here this storm is just I think it's gonna hail here any second I'm just um, trying to get this down before I get hailed on here so but yeah um mm, damn that's good um when Dale Mead Lake is a great lake to go to I did get one hit but I think when it finally does warm up when it's supposed to warm up I think next week or something that spike will kind of probably help with the pike but when it gets really cold like this it just makes them dormant i bought a bar uh, barometric pressure and it, i find it didn't really do kind of what um it, it didn't really matter some days the fish bit some days they didn't it, it helps sometimes but yeah you gotta it it helps uh, you know for walleye fine but for pike it's kind of it's kind of a fun lake for me i like to go there when i'm uh fishing for fun or I'm taking a new friend fishing or something like that but it's not really my go-to season opener lake you know I find your main ones like um, Crawling Valley Reservoir Lake Newell by that inlet that's kind of close to that housing area it's just littered with people and that's usually where people typically go you know like what I recommend doing is uh, go around fish some different spots of the lake you don't get a bite in about 10 to 20 minutes just move on go to another place right like you know you don't have to sit there all day and but like i said if you get a good barbecue and got some food and stuff i mean it's that's a fisherman's paradise right there so that's all i got these burgers are really good uh thank you for tuning in to the uh, season opener that's too bad i couldn't catch some fish but um Maybe uh, next time I head out, I know this lake I'm going to is produced really well for me, and hopefully I can get some action for you guys on that. But I, the review of that grill is just amazing. They're on sale at Canadian Tire right now. They're like $269 if they got anything left. Um, well, you can maybe uh, do, do what I do. I, I like to um, do the, the YouTube product review on them. And see how they work first before I give it. But yeah, but with the wind out there, they're 20,000 BTUs. This took about 10 minutes. But I think if I would have had it on the cast iron, these um, these burgers probably would have fried up in less than five. I'm pretty sure. But um, did blow out once or twice. But it's got uh, it's got an air air pocket on the end of it, so it um, that might have had something to do with it. But, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, keep your sticks on the ice and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks.